Hi everyone, today we're going to start off by talking about SOLIDWORKS administrative images. If you don't know what these are, administrative images are a way for IT personnel to be able to quickly deploy SOLIDWORKS installations. There's also an advantage to engineering managers with administrative images because they'll actually be able to control what users get which product. So let's talk about what SOLIDWORKS 2022 will actually bring to the table with administrative images. So there's going to be two new options in SOLIDWORKS 2022 for deploying administrative images. Those two options are remote client and compressed. So the remote client administration image is actually designed for remote users, which we've seen a lot of those in 2021 and 2020 with the pandemic. And what this actually allows you to do is it allows the users to download the bulk of the installation files from the SOLIDWORKS servers instead of your company's network share, which sometimes that will happen over the VPN network. It will allow the end users to really be able to use their entire network without this VPN client on top of it to download the installation files. The compressed admin image will actually contain all the same components of a standard administrative image that you create, but it will actually reduce it in size, which allows for easier sharing. So for example, you can think it's almost like zipping up your administrative image. It's going to make that file size a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to deploy. Also in the administrative image option editor, you'll be able to stay organized by creating multiple nested groups. Nested groups are great because again, the sub users can actually inherit the properties from the top level users. It allows companies to really create the hierarchy they're looking for when deploying specific assets. Drag and dropping in the user interface of this makes rearranging items very easy and convenient. Each subgroup will inherit the settings of the parent group, and this makes them editing the administrative image simple and reduces the user XML file size, making deployments just even a little bit faster. In this example, most users don't actually need to install all the packages, so we're going to uncheck them in the global settings. However, specific users will need access to the SOLIDWORKS PDM server. Now in 2022, you're going to be able to create a vault view via the admin image. There's not going to be any need to run extra custom scripts, and this is going to be highly advantageous when you're actually deploying this image. So there will not be any post installation options there. If we look at electrical users, they're going to need the SOLIDWORKS electrical client. Because of the nested structure we spoke about earlier, this is going to be done by checking a single box for the entire group. And in 2022, the user interface will give us a clear indication of exactly which electrical products will be installed. You can still choose to deploy it manually or automatically, those existed before, and these tabs will reflect the nested structure of the setup tab, making it very easy to deploy to the correct users and groups. So in 2022, let's look forward to administrative images making deploying a little bit easier, a little bit faster, a little bit more powerful, and making our lives just that much easier. Have a wonderful day.